Good morning, YouTube. All right, so I just rambled on for about, I don't know how long, not knowing that it had turned off. <laughs> I was sharing this story about my clicker. Well, among other things, uh, my clicker, I had this really weird thing happen like a month ago where I I wanted to make sure that my my little clicker was working for the holidays because we like to take a lot of pictures with myself and my children, my family. We, every single year, we take like Christmas pictures and Thanksgiving pictures. And and so I wanted to make sure that it was working properly so that everybody could be in the picture. But anyway, so I, my batteries had, had died in my clicker. And so I had bought these new batteries and they didn't seem to be working. And so I had put the clicker in my purse and had planned on on buying a new battery, like taking it to the actual store to get the right type. And so it was sitting in my purse for a period of time. And then I went into one of my favorite cafes and I looked over and damned if there isn't a battery sitting on the window seal right where I sat. I look over and there's this battery, this random battery that works with my clicker, which I think is really bizarre. That's pretty bizarre, right? I mean, a random battery. For my clicker, anyway, on a window seal, weird. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I, um, yesterday I was I was shopping, I was shopping, and I was realizing that um, some of you know because you're familiar with my material. I have been doing more podcasting over the last few months than I have doing videos and my youngest child has gone off to college and I was anticipating this uh, and I knew this was coming and so he moves out and then my mother passes away like two weeks later I'm like this is just really a lot uh but um and I check in on him regularly <laughs> regularly sorry and and just to see how he's doing. I mean, here's here's one thing about it that I just, it's like, I didn't realize like how, how like young he seems, like even though he's 18 and he's really capable and he's very responsible. And um, he came from like a town of like maybe 25,000 people, like, you know, and in the surrounding area, there's 50,000 people. Well, he went to a campus that the campus itself has 50,000 people. I'm just going, oh my God, how is he doing? Is he eating? Oh, geez. Anyway, so yesterday I was at Sprouts picking up my, because I have things that I need to bake for next week for Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm wandering around sprouts and I run into these gummies and I text him and I'm like oh I miss I really do I miss like I took care of him I like when I went to the grocery store I was always thinking about my children and what they would want and and I used to I know it's like god you know I guess I was an enabler I guess maybe but I just oh I would get up um, in the morning and make him breakfast and lunch. Oh God, I know he was 17 years old. <laughs> I was still making him lunch. Oh, some of my friends are like, I can't believe you, you're ridiculous. I know, but I took just such, and I knew that he was gonna have to be taking care of himself for the rest of his life. I knew that. And so it was like the least I could do is make him a grilled cheese sandwich for, for lunch when he was in high school and his soccer. Oh my God, his soccer. And I've done so many YouTubes about this. And well, I, I drive into another County to work and, and I was driving into that County and my, and I would come across these soccer fields that I watched him play. And in the beginning I would cry. Every time I went by a field that my son played soccer on, I would start to cry. This was such a big part of my life, you know, and scientists say that when we're watching sports, we're getting the same chemical reaction in our brain as if we're doing this sport. So like, this is a huge loss for me. <laughs> I'm not getting my soccer fixed anymore. Like, what am I going to do? Uh, but anyway, but it's getting better. 
I, I feel like I'm progressing because I I can now drive by one of the soccer fields that he played on and not cry. I mean, that, <laughs> I think that's a good thing. It is, it is been interesting for me personally because I've spent so many years as a single mom and so I didn't know that I built my my life so much around my children but it kind of did and so now it's like what am I going to do where am I going to go where am I going to be like and it's so exciting it's like this opportunity for me to really focus on on my goals you know and what i what i want to do with my life <laughs> from here on out <laughs> anyway so that part has been has been really fun um and so i have been trying to focus on myself a little bit more and and such i still do miss buying groceries for him I, I haven't in a while, but I started like sending him like things to his campus. I would like randomly, he would get these packages. I haven't in a little bit, but I need to do that. I wasn't sure that gummy bears was like a food group, right? Like, I'm not sure I should be sending him like junk food. I probably should up my game, but I wanted to, to talk about this last thing before I get off. <laughs> um, and talking about empty nest, like like truly kind of empty nest. Uh, I was watching a TikTok today. Yes, I do. I admit I watch too much TikTok. It's just kind of something that I really enjoy doing. And I've gotten really, really good at like just swiping through things that I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. It's like, I don't even want to hear about that. And I was watching this one where I guess somebody had asked people to, to, they call it duetting. So they had asked somebody to duet like a time that you had to lie to your parents. And this person said, I never lied to my parents. My parents used this strategy called gentle parenting. It's like, I had no idea this was such a thing, like gentle parenting. Like what in the world is that? But I guess I was a gentle parent. I work as, as a counselor, so I go into people's homes a lot. And oftentimes they ask me, you know, what did you do or what was your strategy or how did you deal with these different situations that I'm, I'm dealing with in my life or and how am I going to deal with empty nests? I've been asked that. Yeah. And, and I never really disciplined my children. I know it's hard to like believe for a lot of people, even my coworkers, they're just like, what? Yeah, I never took their cell phone from them. Never. I never took their cell phone. I never grounded them. I, I, I basically just loved them and thought the best of them and had high expectations for them because of their own potential. And, and even now I feel like they're not, my children are not overly boastful. They're not like conceited or anything like that. They're like really, really neat people. But I think that they actually still don't even think as much of themselves as they should because they're just amazing people. Just they came to this world amazing and they continue to be amazing. And I think it's more about the relationship and the trust that was built and and let, and if they were to lie to me, the worst part would be breaking the trust that we had between each other. There were times where I knew they weren't telling me the whole truth. <laughs> I have to admit that. I could tell, or I have like this intuition. I'm like, oh, they're not telling me the whole truth. And then I would have to think about it. Are we entitled to a little bit of privacy? especially growing up. I mean, there's going to be stuff that my children are not going to want to talk to me about. Me just learning to be okay with that as long as they're careful with their choices. <laughs> I'm thinking about that movie. I can't think of the name right now where she's screaming out the window of the middle school, make good choices. And the child's like walking away in shame. I always wanted to say that, just make good choices, make good choices. And I feel like they 
they have. They've done a really great job. And Anyway, I'm looking forward to the holidays this year. This will be the first year without my mom. And it's going to be kind of weird. It's weird to not buy her gifts because I always bought her gifts. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm going to tell you this quick story and then I'm going to go. But it was, um, so I was always by my mom's CDs because she really, she really loves like Yo-Yo Ma. And so I was like, these new CDs would come out like, um, I can't think of the guy, the this other guy that was like in her time. Um, Bennett, I think is his last name. Oh, God, my memory is not really great. But anyway, so like the newest CD would come out and I would buy it for her. And then she would say, well, I don't have a CD player. And I'm like, okay. So so I, I end up buying her a CD player. So a CD player comes to her house by Amazon. And, and then I'm like, oh, mom, did you get your CD player? She goes, oh, yeah, I can't figure out how to use it. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, well, firstly, she didn't know how to plug it in because it was, you know, one of those, those kind that, you know what I'm talking about, kind of like this. So she didn't know how to plug that in. You know, she's of a generation. They didn't have these most of her life and so I ended up I actually bought her this very one and had this delivered to her this very one <laughs> that had like two of them on there and, she's, and oh yeah I got that but I I still don't know how to use it I'm sorry I'm just thinking oh my gosh mom like it's not rocket science you just push this into this and put it in the socket right <clears throat> but anyway so then <laughs> So then later on, um, I end up spending the night at her house, like not that long ago. I think it was like in June. So I spend the night at my mom's house and I can't figure out how to turn the damn thing on. I'm like, I'm like, wow, this CD player must be like, like defective or something. I don't know what's going on here, but I can't, I can't even turn it on. So I end up, um, and then I, I, and then I think, oh, well, maybe I should read the directions. <laughs> so I read the directions and you have to pull this little lever on the bottom of it. And then voila, it turns on. So, so then I had, I, because I really, this sounds so nuts, but I had, I had the CD player in my own cart because I have a whole bunch of CDs that I would like to play, but I, I don't have a CD player. So I had it in my Amazon cart, but then I was like thinking, well, if my mom's not going to use hers, then I'm going to, I'm going to take that one back, <laughs> which sounds kind of mean, but like, if it's just sitting there and not doing anything, I'm, I'm going to take it back. So I go to visit her the weekend, actually the weekend before she passes away and damn if she's not using it. She, she did, she's been using it. I, I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. And then she passes away three days later and I'm, I'm thinking very in my little, I have like a, a crazy sense of humor and I was like, well, this is one way to get the CD player back. It's like, oh my God. So my mom passed away and I'm like, okay, my, to my sisters, I have dibs on that CD player, it's mine. And I got, I got a whole lot of her CDs and so I've sorted through and, and, um, it's going to be a weird year not buying my mom CDs. <laughs> it's going to be weird, but, um, we, we just move on in our lives with loss, whether it be our children moving off to college or our mom passing away. We just, we just move on. We just have to. Life goes on. And um, I feel like I'm doing pretty well with all of it. I'm I'm carrying on, <laughs> making goals and going to make those happen. So anyway, I love you guys and I will be back.